Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Lots to talk about. First stop is over Texas. This is uh, now Tropical Depression Imelda. The last advisory has been officially issued for this system, but it still continues to bring a lot of heavy rain across the coastline of Texas. It's going to slowly drift towards the north as we go through the next couple of days. So it'll continue to spread a lot of rain across southeastern and then into eastern Texas. As we go through the next several days, you can see uh, the projected rainfall amounts. And we're talking really between about five to seven inches of rain. And we could see some pockets between 10 to 15 inches of rain. So that is certainly going to cause flooding issues for some areas across Texas. We'll continue to watch that pretty closely as we go through the next couple of days as well. Still watching Hurricane Umberto. This system just continues to grow not only in intensity but in size. Hurricane force winds now extending out 105 miles from the center of, the, of this storm and then the, or the tropical storm force winds go out 195 miles, so nearly 200 miles for those tropical storm force winds. So it'll be working its way to the northwest of Bermuda later on today into this evening. But just because of how large the wind field is, this system will bring hurricane force winds across Bermuda for a time this evening and then into tomorrow. Top winds right now are at 120 miles an hour. That's making this a major Category 3 hurricane. It's moving to the east-northeast at 16 miles an hour. You see that forecast track? It starts to interact with a trough working its way off the east coast. That turns it more towards the north. And then eventually this system is going to be heading out into the uh, North Atlantic, uh, losing those tropical characteristics by the time we get into the weekend, but still a very powerful area of low pressure working its way across the North Atlantic. Here we are, uh, we're going to in our way into the central. Take lots to really see in this picture right in the middle of the screen. That's Tropical Storm Jerry. Then we also have this cluster of storms we're watching in the uh, uh, Eastern Caribbean and then another area to the east of Jerry that's going to continue to work its way on to the west over the next couple of days and we may start to see some development with that so we've got to keep our eyes on many things in the Caribbean but here's Tropical Storm Jerry winds right now 50 miles an hour 14.6 49.2 this storm is now working its way towards the west northwest at 14 miles an hour I can tell you it's it's looking a lot more impressive here through the morning hours, you're really starting to see more of that outflow with this system in the upper levels, and it's moving over relatively low wind shear. We've got warm water, and it looks like the conditions will stay in place for a couple of days, so I do anticipate to see more strengthening with this system as we go towards the weekend. We could quite likely see this a Category 2, maybe in a Category 3 storm as we get into the weekend, but eventually uh, it will start to encounter some stronger wind shear. About the only thing that's maybe limiting this storm at this point is just some dry air around the system. But really the most important thing about this storm is you do eventually see that turn to the north following the leader that we've seen many of these storms doing over the past several. You look at the European model and there we have Umberto which is working its way to the northwest of Bermuda. But watch as I go through this. You see Jerry working its way to the north of Puerto Rico and then you watch over towards Africa we just continue to see a number of these waves working their way off the coastline in at least the European and, and I'll tell you a number of the models are suggesting we're going to continue to see more of these active waves coming in off the coastline and we can see some more of these developing as we go through the next week or so so we're going to keep you updated on all of this right here on myfoxhurricane.com